How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today is the last time using this Charizard team so hopefully it goes well. If you want to battle me join the Discord server in the description and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said let's find ourselves a game. Alright we found our opponent Umbe. I think I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know though. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, they've got a pretty powerful looking team. They've got a Machamp, Starmie, Garchomp, Staraptor, Scizor and a Mew. Uh, the Mew's one to look out for for sure because Mew can wreck things really badly. Um, Garchomp's obviously there, it's going to stop us from Volt switching around with Raichu. I'm thinking looking at their team... Metagross does decent here. I mean, it definitely does uh, well against the Staraptor. Does um, fairly okay against the Machamp. I mean, knockoff's going to hurt. Uh, Starmie as well, not so much. Scizor, of course, is like one of them things where we both kind of just wall each other. Uh, Charizard's going to do decent here against stuff like the Scizor, but there's a lot of faster Pokemon on their team, so Charizard, I can't see Charizard doing too much this game. Uh, what I'm thinking of leading with is I'm expecting them to lead with Staraptor or Mew. Um... So what I could do is lead with Donphan, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with Donphan and get the Stealth Rocks up. And the battle begins. We are in Cynthia's room, of course. I'm going back to that one because I really like the background for Cynthia's room. It's really cool. Um, we laid off with Donphan. They laid off with the Machamp. So not the worst matchup in the world. Machamp can't really do too much to us. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get my Stealth Rocks up straight away. I don't see any reason not to. Uh, they go straight for a knockoff, knocking off our Custat Berry, which is unfortunate, but... It's fine. It, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and slam this thing with an Earthquake. Um, it'll definitely hurt anything that's a viable switch in. Staraptor's not really a viable switch into Donphan necessarily. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake and we'll see how that goes. They stay in and go for a Dynamic Punch. That's going to do a solid amount of damage and it confuses us, of course. Um, so we're clearly dealing with, with a, with a uh, No Guard Machamp over here. So there we go. We got off the Earthquake at least. That's going to do a solid amount of damage to it. Nice. That is, that is a solid amount of damage as well. Um, right. I'm thinking now we go into Tangrowth. Uh, Tangrowth can definitely wall this thing pretty well. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, they might switch out themselves. They might go into Star Up to... I, I doubt it because Machamp can finish off the Don Fan from there. So it's more likely they're going to stay in and just attack. There's the Dynamic Punch again. It does a nice little chunk of damage to Tangrowth. But we are able to wall it pretty well. Um, what I'm going to try and do now is get off a Sleep Powder. Um, hopefully we can get it off on the Star Up to on the Switch. That'd be nice. And then we can just switch out from there and just, just go into Metagross or something. So uh, we'll go for a Sleep Powder. Hopefully we can catch something on the switch. They go for a knockoff, which is an interesting thing to do to stay in. Um, let's see if we can break through Confusion. We don't, unfortunately. We don't. But luckily, hurting ourselves in Confusion doesn't do too much damage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go for another Sleep Powder. And this time I'm guessing they, they are staying in. They're just... I, they, I guess they're just brute forcing with Machamp. It's fair enough, fair enough. We do get the Sleep Powder off, which is great. So what I'm going to do is, they always have one turn guaranteed sleep. So we're going to use this opportunity to go into Metagross. And Metagross is Choice Banded, so it's going to do a lot of damage to everything on their team. Even the Scizor, even the Mew, even the Starmie. There we go. We're going to switch out real quick. Like so. And they stayed in as well, which is interesting. So we're going into our Metagross. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire off a Me Meteor Mash. Um, they are fast asleep, of course. So, like I said, I'm going to slam this thing in the face with a Meteor Mash, and hopefully we don't miss, because that would be unfortunate. We do outspeed as well, which is great. Meteor Mash is going to take out the Machamp, which is double great. And, uh, yeah, so I, I guess I guess Machamp was more of like a kamikaze type thing. He just goes in, he starts punching stuff, doesn't care, and then ends up getting taken down eventually. In comes the Starmie. So Starmie is a difficult one to play around because Hydro Pump's going to hit a lot of things on our team. That's for sure. Stealth Rocks are going to dig in, which is great. They might actually go for a Rapid Spin as well. Um, what I'm thinking is we go into Slow King and then we go into Raichu afterwards and then we can get that Lightning Rod boost. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go into Slow King first, expecting a Hydro Pump or a Rapid Spin. Like so. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. They go for the Rapid Spin, of course. That's not going to do too much damage to us. Gets their speed up, though. Uh, what we could do here is, assuming they're not Natural Cure anyway, uh, we could go for a Thunder Wave. That way, if they go into Scizor, we can outspeed the Scizor and go for a Fire Blast and take it out. So that could work out pretty well for us. Um, getting a Thunder Wave off on anything on their team as well. They've got a lot of fast Pokemon. It's going to be really beneficial to us. So going to go for the Thunder Wave. We can tank a Thunderbolt. We can tank one Thunderbolt. Definitely tank it. 
They are going to withdraw the Starmie, though. Are they going to go into Scizor? Mew. Mew's also a decent one, because it's going to synchronize our Thunder Wave. Um, not that they necessarily knew we were going to go for a Thunder Wave, but, you know, in this instance, that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to paralyze the Mew, which is great, um, and it's going to synchronize it to us, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? What can you do? Um, the fact that they've brought the Mew in, Mew is a really difficult Pokemon to work around because you just don't know what it's going to do. It could do literally anything. Um, I'm going to assume it's going to go for either a knockoff or... No, I don't think it gets knockoff. I don't think it gets knockoff. I, I'm going to guess they're going to go for a Thunderbolt or a Shadow Ball or something like that. Um, might be worth going into Raichu. Hmm, it's a tough one. A real tough one this is. Um, assuming they're going to go for a Thunderbolt or a Shadow Ball, I'm going to go into uh, Raichu real quick. Let's see if we read that right. Because Mew is, like I said, it's a gamble. You don't know what it's going to go for. It might even just go for something simple like Stealth Rocks. Uh, energy Ball, that also works. Completely forgot about Energy Ball. Doesn't do too much damage to us, though, which is great. Um, they're probably going to go into Garchomp now. In which case, I'm feeling... Hmm. I'm thinking they don't. I'm thinking they stay in and go for, like, an Earthquake or something. So let's go for the Volt Switch. Yeah, they, they, uh, oh, they're going to withdraw the Mew. Okay. Are they going to go into Garchomp? Yeah, Garchomp. Damn. See, I, I, I knew that was coming, and I just didn't act on it for some reason. So, Garchomp could be anything. Um, as much as I want to go into Tangrowth, I've got a really bad feeling they're going to go... They've, they've got Fire Blast. I kind of want to save Don Fan as well. Let's go, uh, let's go into Tangrowth. Screw it. Let's not mess around. It's definitely going to go for an EQ now. Boom. There we go. Tangrowth's going to come in. Goes for a Stealth Rock. All right. Stealth Rock or Earthquake. Either way works fine for me. Um, we could expect a Fire Blast. But I'm not. I'm going to go for a knockoff, expecting them to switch out. They do have Fire Blast and they go for it. It's going to take us out. So we lost Tangrowth, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? Um, well, I know, you know, I know what I can do. It's, it's Life Orb as well. So I'm thinking we go Donphan here. I just want to get Ice Shard off on this thing. Ice Shard will be really beneficial to us here. If we can weaken the Garchomp just a bit, Raichu can come in and outspeed and go for a Surf and take it out. And then after that, we can just go from there. So um, let's go for the Ice Shard. It should do a lot of damage to the Garchomp. If they stay in, that is. They might stay in and just try and take out the Donphan. They are going to withdraw the Garchomp. Are they going to go into Starmie? Scizor. Scizor also works. So Scizor is an annoying one. Um, because now that we've gone for the Ice Shard... We kind of need to go for a Rapid Spin for Charizard. And they're just going to go for a U-turn, right? Let's go for the Rapid Spin real quick. They actually do go for the U-turn, the Outspeeders as well, which is unfortunate, and that's going to take us out. So, we are stuck with Stealth Rocks. This is not looking too good for us right now. Not looking too good for us at all. Right, they're going to go into the Garchomp from the U-turn. This is the, the only good thing about this is that we get to decide what we, what we go into next. Um, and you know what? Our options are pretty limited. I've got to say, I mean, I don't think Metagross can take a, an Earthquake. I know Slowking can, so I'm going to go Slowking. And we can probably scare them out. They might think we have a um, Scald or something like that, so that's always a possibility. Um, let's just go for the Scald. They might think we have Ice Beam, that's what I meant to say. They are going to withdraw. Of course, they're going to go into Mew. There's the Mew. Mew obviously doesn't care about Scald too much. It shouldn't do too much damage to a Mew. Mew is a very difficult Pokemon to work around, to be honest with you. So we'll go for the Scald real quick. Does a solid little decent amount of damage, to be fair. To be fair. Um, what I'm thinking here is we expect the Energy Ball. We go into Metagro Metagross. And we're going to Charizard. Let's go into Charizard. This is like the only time Charizard's going to get to do anything. Pretty much. So we're going to Charizard real quick. There we go. Like I said, unfortunately, Charizard doesn't outspeed um, a lot of Pokemon. We get the Citrus Berry from the Stealth Rocks, at least. So we're definitely going to take this Energy Ball like a champ. As uh, they go for the Energy Ball, that's great. They didn't they didn't predict us to switch out or anything like that. That's great, it's great, it's great, it's great, it's great. It's great, it's great. So, they probably just go straight into Garchomp now. Which makes me want to... I, I, I think they stay in. I, I feel like they stay in. Do they go into Garchomp here? Let's just hit Flare Blitz. Screw it. It might burn. It might burn the. It might burn the Garchomp. You never know. Starmie. Right. Starmie also 
yeah, that's, that doesn't work really well for us, so. Um, unfortunately. So let's go for the Flare Blitz real quick. We don't have a very good switch in for Starmie, unfortunately. Um, Charizard's not really getting much uh, love this game, unfortunately. I'll go for the EQ just in case they overthink it and go for an Ice Beam or something. They go for a Thunderbolt expecting the Slow King. They're still going to take out Charizard. There's no reason not to do that, I guess. So, with it being Life Orb and everything, I'm looking at this situation and I'm thinking, huh, what do we do? Let's go Zippy, the Raichu. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to expect the Garchomp and we're going to go, we're going to try and hit Focus Blasts, which I know is risque, but we're going to try it anyway. We're going to try it. They actually stay in. They knew we were going to do that. But luckily, Focus Blast takes out the Starmie anyway, so that's fine. Starmie goes down. Great, great. So, not looking too bad. Raichu is um, sitting pretty at the moment. Can definitely outspeed and take out the Staraptor. We'll do a decent amount of damage to the Mew and the Scizor. In comes the Scizor. Okay, Scizor comes in. Um, This is an interesting one because they are just going to go for a U-turn. And just thinking to myself, do I need Raichu or do I need Slowking? I, I, don't, I don't think I need Slowking as much. So I'm going to go ahead and just switch in Slowking. I don't see how we need it. They might they might not go for a U-turn. They might go for something else. They might go for a Souls Dance. They might not go for a U-turn, but I think they are. Yeah, there's the U-turn. That is going to destroy us, unfortunately. <laughs> they got a crit as well, which I don't think mattered, but it might have mattered. It doesn't really matter, though, in the long run. Um, so Scizor goes out. We're going to get a free switch into whatever they bring in, which is always nice. If they go Garchomp, which they have, we are going to have to try and tank a Earthquake with um, Metagross. It's the only way we can do this. It's the only way. It's the only way. The only way. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, let's try and tank a... Earthquake from this thing and go for a meter mash. They go for the earthquake. Can we tank it? Nope. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately, Megros cannot tank a earthquake from a life up guard chomp, which is a shame. But I believe this means we do unfortunately lose this game unless we get a crit focus blast. <laughs> not gonna happen, unfortunately. And we'll go for the focus blast anyway, just to see what kind of damage it would have done for future reference. Watch us miss. Just to add insult to injury. Oh, no, we don't. That's cool. We'll go for the um, Spirit Bomb real quick. Does not enough damage at all. We didn't get the special defense drop, but, you know, whatever. So uh, they go for the Earthquake. That's going to take us out. And that is going to be the game. So we did get wrecked, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, my opponent played really well. They had a really solid team. Um, definitely, definitely a solid team. And um, we just unfortunately couldn't work around it. So... Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.